Okay, in this example, we're going to find the area of the shaded region below. So um, it's bounded above by the curve y equals 1 minus x squared, so just a parabola opening downwards um, with a y-intercept of positive 1. Um, notice it would cross the x-axis at positive 1 and at negative 1. And then this line here will be the line y equals negative x minus 1. And then uh, the line here will be the line y equals x minus 1. So to set this one up, um, again, we're going to have to break this up into two different pieces when we integrate uh, with respect to x. Um, notice, you know, sort of uh, over the left half, you know, sort of the left half here, the function on top would be, well, 1 minus x squared, so that would be the uh, first function, and then minus the bottom, uh, the bottom curve, which in this case would be, well, negative x minus 1. So all of that dx, and then we would be integrating from negative 1 to 0. To get the opposite, you know, sort of the, uh, the mirror image here, um, you know, then we would have to add on, you know, the integral from, well, 0 to positive 1. Again, it's still the function 1 minus x squared, and then the function on the bottom will be x minus 1. So I think it's, uh, again, probably you can convince yourself in this example, um, you know, this is going to be a nice little symmetric, uh, you know, sort of a symmetric region. The region is symmetric about the y-axis. So what I'm going to do is actually just calculate this right side um, and then double it. So I'm going to take just 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of uh, this function. And if we simplify this, let's see what we would get. I guess we would have 1 minus negative 1, or we would get 1 plus 1, so that would give us 2. Um, it looks like we would be left with a negative x, and then we would have a negative x squared. So all of that is being integrated with respect to x. All right, so the antiderivative of 2 is just 2x. The antiderivative of x will be x squared over 2. And then the antiderivative of x squared will be x cubed over 3. Um, again, we're going to evaluate all of this from 0 to 1. Well, this one's not too bad. Um, if we plug in x equals 1, we'll just get 2 minus a half minus a third. Um, that would be our upper limit. Notice the lower limit, since we're plugging in x equals 0, we would just get a bunch of zeros. Um, I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 2 because I see that's going to get rid of at least one of my fractions. So 2 times 2 would be 4, uh, 2 times uh, 1 half will be 1, and then 2 times a third will be 2 thirds. So I guess uh, 4 minus 1, that's going to give us 3 minus 2 thirds. Well, we could multiply, again, top and bottom of our first one here by 3. And that would give us 9 over 3 minus 2 over 3, or 7 over 3 as the value for the area. Again, you could have certainly computed it uh, this first way. Uh, and, you know, all it should have happened is when you add them together, at the end of the day, um, we'll get 7 thirds as our final answer.